hey guys what is up it is dylan here welcome back to a brand new video now today uh is an awesome day because we're going to be trying out something new that vector has shown me again so it is where you will it's kind of like making the hat look better so let me pull up the gif so you guys can see all right so he sent me to i don't know if it's he but vectory did send me to um so yeah look here put that on full screen so there's like your hat how we had it before you select both outer lines you select the bevel tool and it kind of makes the hat uh have a brim so we're gonna be trying that and then there's something cool that he does in the next gif oh yeah and you can also do it with the like the whole thing right here you can actually do the end to see so how much curved or how much like you want your end and then watch this this is cool all right so there's that gif and then this is the this is he has the hat he adds google fonts and he, he he just put my name just because so then he puts my name he puts the whatever uh font they want to use snap to face you can click the face you want to snap it to so that snaps it to the hat so now it looks like it's on the hat and then convert into a layer and then you can play around with it change it different colors and then you can move it too if you want like that with the gizmo arrows and then yep that's that's about it so yeah now we're gonna be trying to do this today so let's get started all right guys so let's just start making our square uh i mean to do that but that works so i can always extrude it up all right so there's our cap part bottom backspace and then we're going to turn on smoothing extrude actually that kind of looks weird hold on uh i think i might have messed it up hold on all right let's try this again bottom smoothing yeah yeah that's better i think it's gonna work now extrude there's your cap and then we're gonna add the thing that we need actually let's add it this way so you're gonna want to come to the left x if it's on your screen and you're gonna want to use cut and you're gonna want to about eyeball this and go right about here did that work i might have i might have clicked the button so anyways you want to use uh cut not mesh tools and you want to eyeball this until you have a line so that way it makes a face extrude and then there's the beak of the hat so there is what we would start with and now we're going to try what they tried so you're going to select both outer lines right here and you're going to want to see this tool over here and it's going to or, or, or just hit b on your keyboard what that's going to do is it's going to make this so that way you can adjust <laughs> you can adjust how you want your hat so we're just going to make it oh why did i do that i keep accidentally clicking buttons on my keyboard all right i want to make it just like this and then you go select and then there's the top and then in order to make this beak thing you got to select both outer lines uh bevel so we're gonna make it a nice curve there all right so then you're kind of done the hat part of it so now uh actually no i'm actually gonna change this because when it when it goes through editing it might be a little bit harder to do the thing so i'm just gonna make it big because it when you uh use the uh the thing the plugin for the fonts it might mess up a little bit 
because of uh, the angle on the hat, but that's fine. So you add Google Fonts. You're going to put your name. Uh, I would recommend only one word, or like one send thing like because if you use your first and your last name it's gonna be off the hat and we don't want that and so yeah uh, I think they made it Slavo so yeah just use Slavo whatever that means so you snap to that face I'm gonna move it because it's a little bit messed up there alright so then we're just gonna leave all this stuff uh, add the quality maybe convert to a layer so yeah there is uh there's basically it so you're gonna go to Dylan you're gonna want to go to select all you're gonna see this white thing that way you can move it up if it needs to be centered all right there we are so there is the hat, uh, hold on, I think I need to redo this. Yep, so there's your hat. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna change the colors. So I want the hat a nice gold. Make it nice white gold, or no, that's fine. All right. Make it a nice gold. Nice, nice gold. Alright, now we're gonna make the Dylan. We're gonna make this a nice, a nice blue. And we're gonna make it nice and shiny. And we're gonna make it. Actually, no, let's just leave it. What about glass? all right that's fine so yeah there you go guys there's there's kind of how you have your hat uh, my mine is a little bit messed up but that's fine i have another one that i can show you that i think i did perfect so uh let's go to that one all right so when you're on my dashboard i kind of have uh i only have one because i deleted all my basic ones because i don't want them so we're just going to delete the one i was just playing around with and this is the hat that i that i made yesterday we're uh, just trying out the gifts um, so yeah this is the cool hat that they have so as you notice guys every single hat that I'm making or putting on the tutorial is getting better and better just as so so once you had the brim it looked like a slanted cat and now you have the nice face and then the nice everything so yeah now these hats are fully like functional and stuff so hold on, let me just go to select all. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, there, there's my hat. Um, this is the one I'm going to print in a little bit in the future. Let's make it a nice gold. Yeah. So yeah, there you go, guys. That That's how you make a perfect hat um, and have your name on it, of course. So uh, make sure you guys leave a like make sure you subscribe if you have enjoyed and i will make another video tomorrow so stay tuned and see you victory see you everybody bye